Hello and welcome back to the series building an application on the Power Platform. In the previous episode, we set up the tables and columns for our design. If you haven't seen this episode yet, make sure to watch it. And in this episode, we are going to bring the columns to life by adding them to the application that we are going to create. So the first step we are going to do is select the table that we want to create the form for. So in this scenario, we're going for the projects first and click on forms. The form that we want to create or change in this scenario is the main form. So we're going to select the main form. We now come to the screen where you can adjust the form for the table. As you can see, the primary column and the owner of the record have been added automatically. The owner of a record is a default value that comes with creating a record. But if you want, you can hide the column as well. But for now, we're going to let it on the, on the form of the table. We are now going to add the columns from the design to the form. To, to make it a bit clearer, we divide the interface into two columns, general and project information. So we are going to add a one column tab and name it project information. We are going to add the date on which the record is created to general. And we are going to add the rest of the columns to project information. So that will be the customer, the account manager, the contact person, the estimated revenue. Um, I think that's about it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hit save. And because we don't have many columns yet, we use a one column section. But if you desire, you can change this to a multiple column section. That depends on your, uh, your wishes. So after we have saved the form, we are going to publish the form. Because we store the data of the account managers and customers in separate tables, we will create separate forms for this. We will do this the same way as for the projects. So from the solution, we now click on the table for the account managers. We go to forms and we'll be selecting the main form again. So the columns we want to add here are the email and the phone number. So we'll be adding these to the form and we're going to hit save. And after we hit save, we will publish the form. The last table for which we need a form is the customers table. So we go back to the table and click on the form and we select the main form all right so the columns that we want to add here are the contact person the email the employees and the revenue so again we're going to hit save and hit publish. Now that we have our tables and forms set up, it's time to create the application. We do this by clicking on the app from the solutions. And we are going to choose a new model-driven application. We are going to name it sales app demo. And if you want, you can add a description for the application and we're going to hit create. Now that we have created our app, we want to add our forms to the interface. We do this by adding a new page and choosing a table based view and form. We will discuss adjusting the view in another episode, but for now uh, we're going with the default view. 
All right, so the forms that we want to add to our interface are the projects, the customers, and the account managers. We're going to select them from the screen and gonna hit add. So as you see, the tables and the forms are added to our interface of the model-driven application. So for now, we're gonna leave the rest. We're gonna hit save and we're going to hit publish. Some other things that you can do around here is change the icon that's standing before the form name, but you can also change the interface for example, we have group one right here, and we want to change it to sales hub. You can even change the different sections right here. That's just how you want it. But for now, we're going to leave it like this. And we're going to hit again, save and publish. Now that we have added the forms to the app, we are of course curious to see what it looks like. What we want to do is we want to open the application. So in the solution, we are going to apps. We're going to hit the three dots and we're going to hit play. And the first thing we, that we want to do is create a new record for the projects. And here we have our own form. So what we see is when we hit save, the ID will be automatically generated. This is because we selected a auto number as our ID. And you also see that the created on column is filled automatically with the time that we have created the record. So we're going to the project information. And in the column for customers, we see that there are no options available yet. This is because this table is still empty. But we can also create records for the company's table, for the customer table from, the, from this record itself. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to fill in the columns for the customer table. We're gonna hit a revenue of 50 million. I think that's nice. So then we're going to hit save and close. And what we see is that when we're going back to our new record for the projects table, we can select our newly created customer. And for the account managers, this is the same. So we're going to create a new account manager. Add a phone number, hit save and close. And now in this record, we can select our new account manager. Let's fill in the other information and we're going to hit save and close. And as you can see, our new record is now in the active projects view of the projects table. So we can always go back to the record and see the information. And another thing that you see is that for the customers table, you can also see our newly created customer. And the same is for the account managers, you can see our newly created account managers with this in this scenario, the name of the account manager as the primary column. And in this scenario, the company name as the primary column. That's it for this episode. In the next episode, we will add a business process flow to the app to follow the entire process from lead to sign quotation. So thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next episode.